Hey guys, so in this video we're gonna go over how to record the sale of a fixed asset. Now I've done the videos on how to add the fixed assets account in QuickBooks, how to record the depreciation, how to record the purchase of the fixed asset, and how to record the depreciation. And now this is about the selling the fixed asset. And if you like this type of content, please do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the future updates. Okay, so let's get started. Now, to record the sale of asset, you could have two scenarios. One, where you have a gain on the sale. Two, where you have the loss on the sale. So we're gonna cover both scenarios in this video. So let's go through the first one. Now, to record the sale, let's look at our balance sheet first, how it looks, how the sales look, how, how the assets look, and how the depreciation looks. And let's see what we need to do to record the sale. So I have these multiple tabs open here. In the second tab, I have my balance sheet open. So let's look at the balance sheet. Let's look at our assets. So we have this asset called furniture and fixture. $10,000 was the cost. $7,500 was the accumulated depreciation. And $2,500 is the remaining value. Now this depreciation I record as of 12-31-23. So now since I'm selling the asset today, I have additional depreciation to be recorded too. So I'm assuming it's, let's assume, let's say it's $500 additional depreciation that needs to be recorded. So that's what we need to do first before we record the actual sale. So let's go to the other tab, new. We're gonna do a journal entry here. Okay, so journal entry is going to be as of today. And I'm gonna say sale, oops, depreciation on furniture and fixture for YTD24. Okay, so the depreciation is gonna be $500. Okay. So we are recording additional depreciation, furniture and fixture, accumulated depreciation account. Okay, perfect. So our depreciation is done, save and close. Let's look at the balance sheet to see how it reflects now in our balance sheet. So we're gonna refresh our report. Now, $10,000 was the cost and total 8,000 has been depreciated. Okay, so let's go back to our other tab and let's record the sale now, journal entry. Okay, today, furniture and fixture, we're gonna say sale of furniture and fixture 24. Okay, you can put whatever journal entry number you want to. Now, when, when the sale, when we sell the fixed asset, what happens? First, we get cash. Let's record the cash. So I am putting the cash in my bank. It could be a check or whatever. So I sold this asset for $4,000 the sale of furniture and fixture Oops. recording the sale of furniture and fixture okay second thing we have to do is we have to reverse the depreciation that we have recorded so our depreciation recorded in the balance sheet is eight thousand dollars so that's what i'm going to reverse now furniture and fixture eight thousand dollars when we record the depreciation, we credit the accumulated depreciation account. So I'm debiting it now, I'm reversing it now. And what am I giving up? I am selling my furniture and fixture, which was worth $10,000, okay? So now here I have a gain on sale of the asset because my, my according to my books, $10,000 was what I paid for my asset. $8,000 has been depreciated already and two thousand dollars was the value per my books however i'm selling it for four thousand dollars now more than the book value so i have to record again now in my books now you'll create these accounts in quickbooks um it's called gain on sale of asset it's an other income type account so i already have it but you'll need to create it if you don't already have it in the books so ten thousand two thousand dollars is this gain on sale of this asset and that's it and save and close so now let's look at the balance sheet and see how it reflects on our balance sheet Oops, okay 
Okay, to refresh our balance sheet. Let's see how it looks. Okay, now my asset is gone. No depreciation, no asset. This is how it should look after once you have sold the asset. Now let's look at the other tab, which is the PL. Let's see what happens in the PL. So $500 additional depreciation I have booked, and $2,000 is the gain that I had on the sale. So that's how you would book the sale of an asset that um, you had a gain on. Now let's go through a second scenario where you have a loss on sale. So let's Let's look at our balance sheet. Let's look at our second asset that we sold, computer and equipment. Cost was $2,000, depreciation was $1,500. Now we do need to record additional depreciation on this as well, so let's do that. I'm just gonna go back to the old entry that I just did. And I'm gonna copy it. So more, copy. And I'll say depreciation, computer, equipment, 24. Depreciation expense, additional depreciation for this was $100. And I'm going to pick the right account, which is computer and equipment accumulated depreciation. And here I'll change the memo as well. This is my additional depreciation entry. So let's look at the balance sheet now. When I refresh my balance sheet, oops, right here. Okay, so $2,000 was the cost and $1,600 was depreciated already. Now, the, according to my books, balance of this computer and equipment is, value of this computer and equipment is $400. I only sold it for $200. I had a $200 loss on this. Let's see how to record that now. So QuickBooks and journal entry. So I'm using today's date because that's when I sold this asset. Sale of computer equipment. Okay, first thing we have to do is we have to record the cash in, which was $200 for this asset. Sale of computer and equipment. Okay, then we have to reverse the depreciation, accumulated depreciation for computer and equipment, and total was $1,600. Now we are we sold computer and equipment, so we have to credit that. And the value of that was $2,000. So that's what we're gonna use here. Now what happened here, according to our books, the balance, the value of our uh, asset was $400. However, we only got $200 for it. So it means we, we had a loss on sale of this asset for $200. So let's record the loss. Now I already have this account created. It's called loss on sale of assets. It's other expense type account. If you need to create it, create it, and that's how you're gonna record the loss on sale of asset. It's gonna be debited. So save and close, and that's how you would record sale of fixed assets in a scenario where you had gain or you had loss. Okay, that's it. Thank you, and happy accounting.